Um, we we're just going straight to Sir Keir Starmer. Party, but we haven't set out a strong enough case to the country. Very often we've been talking to ourselves instead of to the country, and we've lost the trust of working people, particularly in places like Hartlepool. I intend to do whatever is necessary to fix that. What will you do? Because some people in your party are going to say you need to move more towards the Jeremy Corbyn agenda, others away from it. This is not a question of left or right. It's a question of whether we're facing the country. We have changed as a party, but we've not made a strong enough case to the country. We've lost that connection, that trust, and I intend to rebuild that and do whatever is necessary to rebuild that trust. But what does change mean in, say, policy terms? It means stopping as a party, quarrelling amongst ourselves, looking internally and facing the country and setting out that bold vision for a better Britain but and sorry, changing what, the things that, that need vision? changing. What and is that, that vision? That is the change that I will bring about. Uh, Lem McCluskey, Unite General Secretary, says people don't know what you stand for. What is that vision? Our vision is of a country that ends the injustice and inequality that millions of people face every day. But fundamentally, we have to show that we are facing the country, that we've learnt the lessons of this bitterly disappointing set of results. You say you take personal responsibility for the results. Are you up to the job of Labour Party leader? Yes, and I intend not only to take responsibility for the results, but to take responsibility for fixing things. Um, and I will set out what change is needed over the next few days, but I'm absolutely clear in my mind and absolutely determined to do whatever is necessary uh, to fix things and to make sure we can make that case to the country in a compelling way. What are you going to change over the next few days? What are you referring to? I will set out what we need to do to reconnect the Labour Party to the voters that have cast their verdict on us last night, particularly in places like Hartlepool. We have changed as a party. We have changed as a party, but we need to go further and we need to set out that strong case to the country. We have not done that. So you're going to set out a new policy agenda, is that what you're saying? I am going to set out a strong case to the country, learn the lessons uh, of, of the elections that have come in so far, um, and accept that we must reconnect and rebuild trust with working people, particularly in places like Hartlepool. Can you give us any sorry, indication of what it is you're going to be Well, I'm not going about. to set out a policy agenda uh, in this interview, but I'm going to uh, set out how we reconnect and rebuild that trust. Are you going to reshuffle your top team? We've lost four general elections. We've just had a bitterly disappointing set of results last night. This goes way beyond a reshuffle or personalities. It's about focusing the Labour Party on the country and making sure that we close the gap between the Labour Party and working people. Sorry, I'm not clear though. Are you going to reshuffle your top team? We have lost yes four. Or no? We have we have lost four general elections in a row. We've had bitterly disappointing results last night. This goes way beyond a reshuffle. Goes way beyond personalities. It goes to the core issue of whether the Labour Party is talking to itself or talking to the country. Sorry, Sir Keir. Yes or no? Are you going to reshuffle your top team? I have said that, um, as far as I'm concerned, we've been losing elections for 10 or 11 years. This is much more fundamental than a reshuffle um, or personalities. OK, well, I'm not clear what the answer is in, in that case. But um, just finally, is the Labour Party facing an existential crisis? No. But the Labour Party has to rise to the challenge of reconnecting with working people. We were set up to represent working people. We need to reconnect, rebuild that trust. That means learning the lessons of the results that are in so far uh, and putting a much stronger and bolder case to the country. But sorry, Sakir, you're not setting out uh, your new policy uh, agenda or what might change precisely. You're not saying whether you're going to reshuffle your top team. Are you really going to deliver change? Yes, I, we have already changed as a party. We need to go further and in particular, we need to set out a stronger case about the future of our country to the country and face the electorate, not internally to the party. You happy? We can keep going if you like. No, that's well, that was Sikia Starmer um, uh, looking, um, uh, I think it's fair to say, a bit, uh, well, a bit shocked by the results and maybe a bit stressed as well.